this has to be the most interesting thing I've ever seen. So this light bulb is being run from uh, this little pickup coil up here that's fully tuned. Um, that pickup coil was wound right there, just like on Tesla schematic, it would be the top one. Right there. And the uh, the ringer circuit's wirelessly powering up that coil, and we're able to power up this bulb, 4 watt bulb. Now watch what happens when I bring this magnet near the ringer coil. It'll get brighter. Look how insane that is. And that's a permanent magnet. That shouldn't really have any effect. And I thought that it was just the ferrite material within the magnet causing that. So then I took another rod, and if I bring a rod near it, the light won't get bright at all. It actually gets dimmer. Hopefully you can see it getting dimmer when I bring the other ferrite rod near it. And again, watch when I bring the magnet near it. It'll get brighter. How incredible is that? Somehow it's enhancing it. It will draw a little bit more power when this occurs. So, that is how bright it is. That's our power draw. 8.75 watts. Very interesting though. Very odd effect. How is a magnet doing that? It makes me want to get a pyramid shaped magnet which has a very focused field. So this is very interesting. And again, look at that effect. I just can't get over how cool that is. And if you slide it up and down, it'll get brighter or dimmer. Again, that's just a plain old magnet. So, a very weak magnet. And again, it's not because of the material that's doing it. It's um because I thought it was just somehow the induction or the uh the fact just the the um material was causing more induction, but no. Exact same rod and it dims it. Very interesting. The magnetic field is causing that effect somehow. I wonder if I could tune that to get it to recharge the uh, super cap, the source cap, because that's a wireless coil that's running that. That's the output for that. Get you a good look at that. It's a wireless coil output that's doing that. That's running it. And again, amazing. Makes you want to try a different shaped magnets, maybe a special ring magnet over it. Didn't even expect anything like that would happen. So that's completely wild and completely crazy. It's a 4 watt bulb lit very... I believe he's at the full 4 watts. There's our power consumption. We did consume more power, which sucks. I thought when that got brighter, we we uh, wouldn't consume more, but no, we did. If I remove this, the bulb gets a little dimmer, and we drop back down to 6.75. So I wish that could have got brighter without consuming power, but hey, it was still a cool discovery nonetheless. Um, maybe the correct magnet will cause it to get brighter without draining it, but I figured I'd just share that. And, yeah, keep experimenting, guys.